Hello and welcome to this special can edition of Movie Time. The most important new film at this year's Festival to Cannes was first released in a seriously truncated version in 1984. You're the only person that I have ever cared about. Today they ask us to get rid of Joe. Tomorrow they ask me to get rid of you. Once Upon a Time in America was cut by its American distributors from its original 269 minutes to a mere 139 minutes. I'm not interested in your friends in high places, and I don't trust politicians. No, if we listen to you, we'd still be rolling drunks for a living. Are you broke? You'll carry that stink of the streets with you the rest of your life. I like the stink of the streets. It makes me feel good. I like to smell it. It opens up my lungs. And the chronology was arranged into such a travesty that its director, Sergio Leone, was heartbroken, and he never made another film. Agreed. His original cut ran to six hours. You'll put up and you'll shut up. You hear nothing and you see nothing. Just like you did for Bugsy. Oh, you was better off you stayed in the box. But he cut it himself to 229 minutes. I swear to God, Noodles, you and me together, we can make it come true. But in Cam, they're showing the entire restored footage, never seen before. You ever think of setting yourselves up in business? Open it! You want to go swimming? Yeah, let's go for a swim. We're gonna need you guys today. Maybe Sharky was right. Maybe I ought to just dump you. He's gonna do this. He's gonna do it with or without you. Now, I want to see someone do the same magic with another neglected masterpiece. Michael Simino's Heaven's Gate. Let's play out this item with more of Ennio Morricone's wonderful music for Once Upon a Time in America and the panpipes of Georges Zemphier. Ken Loach won the Cannes Jury Prize for his Glasgow-based comedy The Angel's Share, though some Sassanas complained that they needed subtitles to understand the Doric dialect. It's a soft-centred tale closer to his other Scots comedy I Fond Kiss than to the Irish setting of The Wind That Shakes the Barley, the movie that won for him the Palm d'Or in 2006. His moral? Another world is possible in Loach's own words, except in the prize. I gotta agree. Even if you wanted to change, they're not gonna let you. I sentence you to 300 hours of community payback. You'll be safer inside, you wee prick. Well, if you're too late. I'm gonna get my done, man. You only get one shot, Robbie. Just one. This is for Luke and his old man. Cheers, Robbie. 
Now, every year, about 2% of the spirit evaporates into thin air. It's what we call the angel share. Who's got a sensitive nose? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. A lime tasting. Fruity? Go on, have a wee guess. Or maybe a, a cragamore. A cragamore. <laughs> The most incredible whiskey. It will come to auction, so it will be all over the press. And since there are only three known bottles, the sale could raise a million pounds. What? This could be a big chance to make money, Robbie. Make money? If I get caught, I get five years at least. My meat and two veg are taking a hammer in here. Oh, God. So this is Captain Time Malt Whiskey Club. Could we got a photograph? It's just so we could tell the grandchildren that we were there. Oh, isn't it? How are you going to get an area? There's one camera, one alarm. How do you know that? Because I asked the secretary. This whiskey is so rare. It's like I want to have like a Mona Lisa in your bedroom. Mona, oh, no, huh? But one million pounds. This shall not be me! Sally Conley, brother the Bruce! They've had your bastards! It's a win-win situation. Nobody loses. Is that that near? I said in my castle. Who did they put up there for? Are you taking the piss? It's pieces of blood. Up with the kilt. You'll never sleep again, officer. What happened to you? Got to get some cream on that, man. It's not often we see a Bollywood movie at Cannes, but then Ashim Alawalia's Miss Lovely is not your typical Bollywood movie. It tells the story of two brothers who produced soft porn horror films in the mid-1980s, and it may yet fall foul of the censors, as Alawalia admitted in this interview. I studied film in the US and I went to a school which was very unconventional, not a typical Hollywood style school. So they were not very uh, pro uh, Hollywood or mainstream film. It was much more art house uh, cinema and independent cinema. So that's the kind of place that I studied in and that's my, my background. Come, I, I come from that background. I'm you know not so interested in a typical blockbuster kind of films. I actually wanted to make a documentary on, on the C-grade industry. You know, films like uh, Piasi Chudel and these kind of films that used to come, you know, I really found those films very, very interesting because I think a lot of the small towns in India, they were not watching A-grade Bollywood. We used to think, Acha, everyone's watching Bollywood. But actually, they're not watching that. They're watching uh, Motka Chera, you know what I mean? They're watching those kinds of films because those films have sex in them. Because you can't see sex, at least now you can, but you couldn't in the 80s and in the mid-80s, you couldn't see any sexual content. So this space for me, this underground of Indian cinema, was very interesting. And so what I did was I spent one year trying to make a documentary. So I spent a lot of time with C-grade directors on shoots, behind the scenes, seeing how the new drills were shot, seeing how money, how these films were financed, a lot of gangster connections, quite a crazy space, a lot of prostitution. Those stories and all of that material that I actually um, gathered at that time became Miss Lovely, the script for Miss Lovely. Basically, the title Miss Lovely is not my title, but it's uh, Sonu Dukkal's title. He's the one of the characters in the film. He wants to make a film and he thinks of a romantic film that he wants to make. He's like, I want to make a romantic film and he needs a title. And he needs to make up a title really quickly because he's trying to patao a girl. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't think very hard about the title. He just looks around and he's like, okay, Miss Lovely. It's a very random title that he makes up that I use as my title. It's not supposed to be uh, Mughalism, you know, it's meant to be a throwaway title. For me, the face was really important and the presence was important. I didn't want any star power or anything, you know. When I saw Nawaz, Nawaz had done some small roles. Black Friday, he had done something in Firak, mm -hmm. you know. I, I just li I loved him. I loved his face, I loved his vibe, I loved his performance. Mm -hmm. So he immediately was like Sonu Dugal for me. Like, this guy has to be Sonu Dugal. Mm -hmm. So that was his first lead. Miss Lovely is Nawaz's first lead as a film. Mm -hmm. I would love to release it in India, but it really depends on distributors, getting the right distributor to back the film and uh, also on the censors. Can opened with Wes Anderson's quirky and very sweet new film, Moonrise Kingdom. I've got to say, this is a very attractive film and it's amazing. Wes Anderson has done such different things like the fantastic Mr. Fox, for instance, which couldn't be more different, and yet it's the same sort of thinking behind it. I really recommend this because it's on general release now. <clears throat> what kind of bird are you? I'm a sparrow, she's a dog. No, I said, what kind of bird are you? Dear Suji, here's my plan. Dear Sam, my answer is yes. Dear Suji, one. Dear Sam, where? Dear Suji, 
Walk 400 yards due north from your house to the dirt path which has not got any name on it. Turn right and follow to the end. I will meet you in the meadow. Who's missing? Shukuski, you in there? Jiminy Cricket, he flew the coop. Does it concern you that your daughter has just run away from home? That's a loaded question. Until help arrives, I'm deputizing the little guy, the skinny one, and the boy with the patch on his eye to come with me in the station wagon. C'est le temps de l'amour, le temps des copains et de l'aventure. What am I looking at? He does watercolors, mostly landscapes, but a few nudes. If we find him, I'm not going to be the one who forgot to bring a weapon. Hmm. Me neither. Where's the boy? I'm told that he's just been struck by lightning. It's true. I'll be out back. I'm going to find a tree to chop down. Moonrise Kingdom is on general release right now. Away from a can and a little bit closer to home is the Sheffield Dock Fest, which takes place from June 13th to 17th in, of course, Sheffield. This is an absolutely wonderful collection of programmes, and it opens with a personal appearance by Sixto Rodriguez, who's featured in the opening film, Searching for the Sugar Man. Original Sugar Man Sixto Rodriguez performing live at the Sundance Festival. He will be present at the screening of Malik Benjulil's documentary Searching for Sugar Man at the opening night of the Sheffield Dockfest on Wednesday, June 13th. 